सो हाई डियर स्कॉर्पियो अ वेरी वेरी गुड इवनिंग टू यू गाइज दिस इज अंजलि टेरो एंड दिस इज जनरल अव रीडिंग फॉर ऑल द स्कॉर्पियो सन मून मिनस राइजिंग कीप इन माइंड दिस इज जनरल इट माइट और माइट नॉट प्रेजेंट विद योर द फर्स्ट प्लेस द सेकंड थिंग द रोल्स कैन बी रिवर्स ऑल्सो थर्ड थिंग दिस इज अ रीडिंग फ्रॉम टू डेट इन द ट्वेंटी फोर्थ ऑफ मार्च फॉर दोज हु आर इन कम्प्लीट नो कॉन्टेक्ट और नो कम्युनिकेशन एंड वॉन्ट्स टू नो वट्स गोइंग ऑन ऑन द अदर साइड Okay if you want to be a professional tarot card reader like me you can start your journey by purchasing my course the link is in the description box for the same it's in simple plain english language with lifetime access and certification if you want to start your self love journey but don't know from where to start you can definitely start by purchasing my ebook and workbook again it's super easy to understand loaded with a lot of information and it's super affordable too okay and the link is in the description for both of these if it is not resonating it's not your story please keep that in mind Scorpio let's see the person that you have no communication or no contact with their current feelings for you right now we have the empress the judgment and the justice bottom of the deck is the king of pentacles wow scorpio this is someone who is dying who is dying to be with you it's like this person feels like doing the right thing but their actions are telling me something different this person's intention here is to have the right kind of energy asking for forgiveness asking for second chance they definitely feel like having growth and expansion in this particular direction between you and them at the same time their actions are telling me that they are their intentions are cool their their intentions are good okay but and their feelings are very good their intention and their feelings are telling me that they feel like having some kind of growth and expansion they feel like asking for forgiveness they feel like asking for second chance and they feel like doing the right thing in the right direction in this particular situation but i think the the way they are handling it is kind of difficult to tell whether they are truly in love or they are just trying to win you back because their ego is telling them but trust me this person does have a like love also in this situation it's not only ego there's love as well you know this person is definitely trying to pretend that they are completely healed and they are ready to be with you and they feel like giving you something very solid on the table something uh, something very mature and something very grounded but they are doing all this because they are very hurt they are they are very hurt because of whatever is happening wow it's giving me a lot of stories scorpio for the time being this person feels like doing the right thing in the right direction they feel like asking for forgiveness they feel like asking for a reconciliation and they definitely feel like coming towards you with this energy of see i have grown enough i am mature enough to understand you now and the situation now so this is what they are feeling okay let this let's see what this person wants from me what are their intentions for the situation between you and them scorpio wow their intention is to have reconciliation see clear cut they don't want to lie to you they don't want to be deceptive if there if there was some kind of third party issues going on they want to come towards you to clear the third party issues if there were no third party issue this person wants to straight away come towards you for a reconciliation plain and simple this person wants reconciliation there is no more explanation to these cards okay they definitely want to be patient with you they definitely are ready to give you the time and space for you know uh wanting them back at the same time they they want the answer as yes that yes we are together they want to yes they don't they don't want to take no as an answer because they want you back <laughs> god what is happening okay let's see what action is this person going to take towards you if any scorpio by the 24th of march we have the star the death and the ace of cups yes this person definitely wants to heal the damage that has been done in the situation and i do see this person coming towards you with a very emotional message emotional communication they will try to communicate with you from multiple sources if you have blocked them this person is going to come back to from some 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 other uh phone number or some other email id or for some other fake ids or whatever it is you can expect emotional messages emotional communication emotional this energy of i want you back scorpio i cannot live without you because i just can't so you could be dealing with another scorpio libra or taurus or libra or we have uh, aquarius as well sun moon venus rising not mandatory that these signs are attached to you but these are the major arcana that i'm getting here so uh, for some of you if it, if this person was attached to something else or someone else also apart from you they are going to talk to you they are going to tell you that they are completely single now they are completely independent now to be with you can you uh, like uh, can you give me another chance so you can expect emotional messages communication emotional 
overwhelming kind of energy is being exchanged between you guys and i don't see the result here to be honest like if you guys are going to be together or not but i do see a lot of message communication emotional messages emotional communications and overwhelming kind of energies slapped on your face by the universe what are you going to do it's completely up to you now let's see the guidance for you guys in the situation scorpio We have the seven of pentacles, the five of swords and the page of pentacles. Hmm. See, if you're playing mind games with this person that I'm going to see till how uh, long this person is going to like chase me or back to me or how long this person is going to, you know, uh, play games with me. If you're doing that, stop it. It's your life. Not for the sake of them, for the sake of your own happiness, for the sake of your own peace of mind, for the sake of your own mental health. If you are trying to play games with them by watching like what they are going to do, what they are up to, what are, whatever they are going to uh, bring me uh, like on the table, don't do that. If you feel like connecting with them, just connect with them. If you feel like disconnecting from them, just do that. Just disconnect from them. Okay. It's completely this energy of having a brand new beginning in your life with this understanding of what you really want out of the situation. If you want a connection, talk to them. If you don't, talk to them. If you can't talk to them, just make up your mind and move on in that direction. Don't play games with yourself. You might be thinking that you are testing them, you are judging them and you are, you know, just uh, having fun or you are just feeling like, okay, I should just wait and watch and see play like uh, see them playing the games. Again, it's going to waste your time, your energy, your peace of mind, your mental health. Everything is going to be ruined for you, not for them. So it's better to make up your mind and understand what you really want out of this particular person or situation and then move forward in a new direction with that proper, with that uh, understanding, with that knowing, with that energy of this is what I want. Okay, just, just don't waste your time and energy onto something that you really are not interested in or even if you are interested then just don't waste your time playing games and you know, doing all this shit. Yeah. So thank you so much for tuning in Scorpio. I'll see you soon in the next video. Bye bye. Take care. God bless you. Namaste.